Okay, everybody, so welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you uh, just a, really, a couple really cool things that you can do with Circle, the uh, software as a service for building niche communities, or any sort of publishing platform that incorporates courses, content, community, cohorts, uh, you know, digital downloads. Really, Circle has evolved so much over the last year. Actually, the entire uh, community building software space has evolved so much in the last year that it's really the most exciting time that I can remember for being a maker, a marketer, a builder, a publisher, or really anybody who wants to earn a full-time living, creating community, selling content, and building a brand using really affordable tools. So uh, Circle has just released this brand new uh, live streaming uh, feature, which is really great for teaching courses, uh, having cohort-based uh, conversations or cohort-based uh, courses and communities. And I'm not going to actually cover that in this video, uh, but you can see here, this is really the, it's just a beautiful interface and it allows you to create these live streams that you can incorporate into your community in some really cool and creative ways, including inviting co-hosts, recording the uh, stream, and offering different, uh, you know, sort of aesthetics or presentational you know, qualities, whether it's a gallery, whether it's a speaker, etc. It's just really, really nicely done. But that's not the uh, gist of this particular video. Here I'm going to show you a different way of incorporating courses into your Circle community, something that I've uh, talked about for a while, going back probably close to a year. But it still strikes me that many people don't know this is available, especially folks who are uh, really looking to migrate from the other kinds of you know, teachables and, and gum roads and uh, Podia's. We use Podia. You can see our course community, partners.mindfulmarketplace.com. But there are some really great ways of incorporating uh, courses within your circle. And I'm going to show you one of them here. So uh, just a quick aside, we're launching uh, or in the process, we've already launched this new publishing platform for for those of you who want to create uh, content, digital downloads, courses, ebooks, real books, and coaching offers, etc. It's called a tiny revolution, and essentially, we are, you know, or at least hoping to really disrupt the creator space with some radically new ways, or radically simple new ways of creating content that builds your community and uh, truly converts like crazy. So one of the uh, tools that I really like and we use is called uh, Seven Taps, and it's a great way of incorporating micro courses. Our entire uh, brand is really built around tiny content, tiny courses, tiny books, tiny uh, you know, tiny everything, right? Micro content. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to take something like a micro content course and paste it into your circle community, which gives you the best of both words, worlds. You can have actually content like the, what I'm showing you here within the, uh, the confines of a cohort. So you can create tiny content making, you know, course creation super, uh, you know, fast, very quick. And simultaneously, you can also, or at this, you know, you can also, uh, in a corresponding way, offer more deep dive experiences for your audience where they can actually interact with your content, your community, your courses, etc., within your circle community. All right, so let's go really quickly. We're going to create a new post. This is purely an experimental uh, or a demonstration community, so we're just I'm just doing this on a sort of a dummy circle site. But here we're going to have uh, I can't type seven taps. All right, and all you want to do the relevant power move here is let's select the space. We'll call it no, no stupid questions. We're going to click click this gearbox, and we're going to paste that iframe that you just saw me take, and we're going to paste it into this custom HTML box. We're going to change the width, let's say to a hundred 
percent. We'll leave the height for now. This is maybe stylistically not going to look perfect, but that's not really the point of this. And we're going to post it. All right, and there you see there is this course. that people in our community can take. It's a micro course, but they can engage with this content in a really fulsome way and discuss it within the actual circle community. So you're using both levers here. You're using the, the simplicity of really quickly creating or repurposing your existing content, your existing courses, your existing um, stuff, wherever that may live, PDFs, audios, etc., and you're taking advantage of the fact that something like a circle offers this forum-like experience where your audience can engage with you as the brand builder or as the site owner or as the author of the book or the course, etc., the podcast, and they can interact with each other so they can you, know, you can do challenges or you can ask people to share their own challenges with each other there's just lots of ways of generating user uh, or actually facilitating user generated content using this approach etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's just really really um you know really to my eye the app the absolute best way of incorporating courses within circle i'm actually just trying just because i'm a little ocd trying to add some visual styling here that makes this look a little better hopefully that did it right so now you have a little space between the course and this text and of course you would have much more to say here than just the course itself you would tell people to interact leave a comment share you know their questions etc etc you know, in this very, um, you know, specific post or, you know, um, here. Something like that. All right, so that's just another way of incorporating course content within Circle, the other things that we're going to be doing that I'll be doing some demonstrations of over the next week or so is using private podcasts or audio courses, uh, using all sorts of different content like this, right? So embedding other, you know, kind of worksheets and checklists and interactive PDFs and things like that within your Circle community as just another way of engaging your audience with content that's fun, that's immersive, that's engaging, that has some interactivity or interactive elements, and all the while using Circle as the frame around which you're building, you know, or the canvas, let's say, in which you are building all of the individual components or the content pieces or, and the cohorts that will, you know, over time really bolster and build your brand and of course your bank account to boot. Okie doke, so hope, hopefully this has been helpful. If you're interested in joining our March challenge, which is going to be for those of you who want to really sell, uh, create content that converts like crazy books, courses, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, mini uh, content modules that you can sell or that you can use as lead magnets, all that sort of stuff that you can really build your brand with super speed. I encourage you to uh, send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com. This is not something that's going to be available to the public. It's a private thing, uh, and it'll just be for clients only. But send an email if you're interested in learning more about that, uh, You know, especially if you're listening to this in February. By March, when we start this, uh, you know, I don't expect to have uh, any open spots. And that's not a hyperbolic thing. That's just a, if history is our guide, true statement. Okie doke. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. 
Hope this has been helpful, and I will have links below that you can uh, get some additional content around these concepts. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful day.